voltage. And if we plug it in, it's generating about as much voltage as you for your eye. Um, and the even stranger and, and, and more and funnier thing about this all is, um, where did that box go? Beautiful creature, huh? A little weird looking, but... Uh, Mus mushroom generate electricity? Mushroom generating electricity, but this is, it gets better than this. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show that to you. Ah, oh, there it is. So now, what I'm going to do for an experiment, for fun, is instead of this big mushroom battery uh, doing the terminals, let's just take a piece of it. So I don't even, maybe I don't even need to take a, let, let me just take this gross piece, right? So I just take this gross piece and I'll stick a nail through it, right? And I'll, then I'll stick this copper uh, in it very, very simply. Um, let me not get your desk all dirty. And I'm going to stick that guy in there. And then Ken, if you wanted to, um, and what we'll do is we'll just um, connect our zinc and copper. And we're generating right now, we're jumping all over, 0.5 volts from this little piece of mycelium. Um, probably not a whole lot of power, but more than you would get from soil. So, um, so regardless, you can link these up in series. Um, and, uh, and again, you can use a tiny piece. You can take a little tiny chunk like that and put a little tiny piece of copper and zinc and make a cell. Uh, and it doesn't need to be this big. It doesn't need to size be. Size doesn't matter. Size does not matter with fungi. How about we connect these two? Uh, so I'll connect those two. Let's see what we, what we get our reading. Should get the same. Um, should actually, I think we should, but it's different because we're getting 0.89. He's almost going to give us nine volts, and the reason being is that this chunk is just uh, was on the bag. It literally was growing on the bag. It wasn't growing in the in there, and so there was there's more there's more substrate there's more of a medium, there's more nutrients, and so um, 